Good morning and welcome to this online service of morning prayer for Monday 24th of July 2023. This service is part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral Newcastle and I'm Catherine Bowyer, the Dean of Newcastle. I acknowledge that this service is being recorded on the unceded sovereign lands of the Awabakal and Waramai peoples. And St Peter's Hamilton, which stands on the unceded lands of the Awabakal peoples, is part of the parish. Christ Church Cathedral stands on the lands of the Awabakal and Waramai peoples. I pay my respects to elders past and present to any First Nations peoples joining in this service today. I, with the diocese and the parish, am committed to Makarata, to reconciliation, repenting of sins of past and present, seeking to learn with humility from the wisdom of the elders and walking humbly upon this sacred land, so that all may work together to care for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. Monday morning prayer is found in the prayer book on page 390, our Psalms this morning are Psalms 56 and 57, and our reading from John's Gospel, Chapter 6. You might like to also follow the service using the ePray app, which you can download free on the App Store on your device. Monday Morning Prayer, page 390, if you're using a prayer book for Australia. In the name of the Holy and Blessed Trinity, revealed to us as the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier of the world. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalms 56 and 57, if you're using a prayer book for Australia, they're on page 278 and 279. Psalm 56. Be merciful to me, O God, for they are treading me down. All day long my adversary presses upon me. My enemies tread me down all the day, for there are many that arrogantly fight against me. In the hour of fear, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and fear not. What can flesh do to me? All day long they afflict me with their words, and every thought is how to do me evil. They stir up hatred and conceal themselves. They watch my steps while they lie in wait for my life. Let there be no escape for them. Bring down the peoples in your wrath, O God. You have counted my anxious tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are not these things noted in your book? In the day that I call to you, my enemies shall turn back. This I know, for God is with me. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and fear not. What can flesh and blood do to me? To you, O God, must I perform my vows. I will pay the thank offering that is due. For you will deliver my soul from death and my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I come to you for shelter. 
and in the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until these troubles are overpassed. I will call to God most high, to the God who will fulfill his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will send forth his faithfulness and his loving kindness and rebuke those that would trample me down. For I lie amidst ravening lions, those whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharpened sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. They have set a net for my feet, and I am brought low. They have dug a pit before me, but shall fall into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul, awake, lute and harp, for I will awake in the morning. I will give thanks, I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing your praise among the nations. For the greatness of your mercy reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Create a spirit advocate promised by our Lord Jesus. Increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence, to the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from John's Gospel, chapter 6, starting at the 52nd verse. John's Gospel, chapter 6, starting at verse 52. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died but the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, the flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for he, though one of the twelve, was going to betray him. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, a song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously, 
Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O God, you alone can order our unruly wills and affections. Teach us to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that among the changes and chances of this world, our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we pray, the response to, I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart, is, I will glorify your name forever. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. Righteous Father, through your Son, we are adopted as heirs of your glory. Keep your church faithful to this hope. I ask your prayers especially for the gathering at the end of this week of the Anglican Deans of Cathedrals of Australia gathering in Melbourne. May our gathering be blessed by the spirit of wisdom, of concord and of understanding. Open our hearts to be receptive to your awesome presence. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. Righteous Father, give to governments due proportion in guarding and protecting their people from those of evil intent. Turn all our hearts from ways of hatred to peace. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. Righteous Father, your love shows compassion and restraint to children of your kingdom and to those who would disrupt it. Give us the same patience and grace to be agents of your transforming love. Fortify us in the struggle of your dawning kingdom. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. Righteous Father, as we wait with longing for your glory, be with all who groan and endure hardship. Bring your light to our darkness. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. Righteous Father, gather to yourself all whose earthly days have come to an end. May they shine in the brightness of your eternal glory. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. <laughs> 